to stay alive. Slow down! Stop worrying. You're gonna get an ulcer. Yeah, well, better an ulcer than hot lead. Ronsky's really pissed. He was stupid to bet against me. I never told him I'd throw the race. You didn't tell him you'd win, either. He's bluffing. He'd be crazy to try anything. Yeah, it was all a big joke. He gets a kick out of threatening to kill people. Hey, Nick, look. We sweated a long time to get this car and be our own bosses. I mean, it's just you and me. No backers to tell us what to do. No managers to run our lives. No one to... Okay, Paul. That's the way I want it to. Hey. But no Miss Racetrack for you. First, we get to Mexico and lay low for a while. Okay? <laughs> okay. Maybe Roscoe will forget about it. Nope, he didn't forget. Get us out of here. Go, go! What the hell are you doing? I'm gonna try to put her out. Don't slow down. Keep going. Where are you going? Forget the car. Let it burn. Nick, they'll kill you. Crazy bastard, you... Look, I know you're tough. Get back in the car. No, keep going. Keep going. Oh, my God. from Tony. Gambino is not overjoyed. In fact, he said to tell you, he's piped a lot. <laughs> what a pity. You have to shorten the mortality of those two nice boys, but out here on the coast, Mr. Charette is God, and Gambino is three times higher than God. How do you buck a line like that? <laughs> You're phrasing it. <clears throat> the only trouble is, you gotta get rid of them quick. They show at the Imperial on the 18th. Well, I'm quite sure you'll know how to handle it. If you don't, Al, and the boys do race, you love Australia. Mm. Ah, don't worry, Mr. Ronsky. I'll shine. Superstar. Now that's what I call gorgeous bodywork. That? The tin can with a rainbow? Huh? 
<laughs> You're nuts. I'm talking about that, huh? Oh, the, that. Sorry. <laughs> Not the tin can. That's uh, that's Formula One. So you can get the mini skirt. Yeah, you know why they've been outlawed? To create some ground. Hi there. Ooh. Hey, I think you've connected. <laughs> How do you do it? Okay, Grease Ball, out of the car. Huh? Out of the car. You too, Hot Rod. We're close. Hey! You sure you haven't got the wrong Grease Ball? All right, okay. <sighs> you said get out. Saying, please, we'll get better results. Shut up. Him too, let's go. Come on, come on, move it. In the office. The racer, take it over the trailer. You know, dealing with punks like you is not my idea of pleasure. And I'm a man who likes pleasure. I don't like wasting my time with fatheads. I was just gonna say the same thing. <laughs> well, try saying this. You cost me $600,000. Now, how do you intend to pay me back? Uh, let's see. What do you think about uh, $100 down and... Uh... And 50 a week for the rest of our lives. We'll mail it. Oh! You boys have gotten the wrong people angry. But uh, I'm willing to make you a sporting proposition. We'll forget about what's happened if you agree to play my way from now on. I want you in my stable. Yeah, I... I hate the taste of oats, let alone eating out of a trough. You know, come to think of it, I don't like the smell of horse shit. You're a thoroughbred. I'll give you that. And you like to run. But you gotta learn not to fight the jockey. He has the whip. And anyway, there are more ways to win than crossing the finish line first. The Imperial Crash is coming up in a few days, and uh, Al Cost here is driving it for those wrong people. They even scare me. And I promised him that Al is going to win it. Now, what I want to know is... You plan to enter? Our social secretary makes all our appointments. Ask her. Millions oh! are riding on this race. Bets are coming in from all over the world. They can't afford any surprises. You got my word we won't be there. You won't race. We won't race! What we do? Then you don't mind if I take your car as a precaution. Oh! You all right? I don't know. I'll never play the piano again. Come on, we gotta make tracks or we'll miss the train. Yeah, that's a terrible pun. I'll never play pinball again either. Ooh. <laughs> White wine, please. Just water for me. Oh, my God, it's you! I can't believe it! Let me look. This is incredible. Oh, I just can't believe it! Marsha would freak out if she knew. I mean, it really is you, isn't it? Oh, I could just do somersaults. I mean, it really is you, isn't it? I guess so. It was the last time I checked. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but who's your friend? Uh, oh, I I'm not a friend. I mean, yet. Yeah. I'm just his biggest fan, and I mean, I've been wanting to meet him ever since he won the Laguna Derby. Really? Really? Yeah. You're a demolition derby fan. Am I? I've been living at the tracks ever since I lost interest in rock music. And now I'm going to Mexico City with Paul Little. 
It's great to meet a real racing fan like yourself. Uh, can I buy you a drink, Miss? Susan, Thanks. I have some wine in my compartment. How would you like to come share it with me? Oh, that's really sweet of you, but uh, I wouldn't want to put you out. Put me out? God, I mean, this is the greatest thing that's happened. It proves my biograph was right. Biograph? Yeah, and Marcia said I was an idiot to take it seriously. Now I'll never go anywhere without my bio rhythms. They're more accurate than horoscopes because they're scientific. Sounds really yeah. deep. Yeah. Now you see here how the graph for driving is real high? Well, Marcia said that proves I wasted my quarter because she knows I don't drive. But that's you, the world's greatest race car driver. Hey, these bio rhythms are all right. Look at the graph for sex. It runs right off the edge of the paper. Yeah, I know. Can I have some wine, too? Um, I'll take the bottle with me. you when you tune engines? What the hell happened to you? I went out to, to get a little air. Hey, you all right? He'd do anything to screw up my evil. You shouldn't say that, Paul. Maybe he's seriously hurt. On the train or not on the train? They didn't get off it, so they're still, still on, on it. it. They better be on it. How could he get hurt? They just hit him on his head. Tell her goodbye. But we're, we're not in Mexico City yet. We're getting off here. Come on. Come on. You keep practicing that double clutch, huh? Ciao. See you around the track. Shook him, huh? What sewer do we get off in? Mm. Cuernavaca. City of millionaires. Millionaires, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. You better keep your, your money hidden, or one of those millionaires might steal it. Where are you going? You're looking for a car. A car? 
Yeah. You'd be lucky if you find a horse. Paquito! <laughs> Paquito! It's me, Nick! Open up, Paquito! Okay, forget it. Let's go. Huh, you mean we came a thousand miles to look in an empty shack? Can't win them all. Marry you in a million years. Get in the car and drive. Big idea, Paquito. I told you we were coming. I got another phone call. After yours. From who? I don't know who they were, but they know you. They said they'd burn my garage if I helped you. And they were downtown serious. And you went along with them? Is that the kind of guy you become? Let alone a hot ass get the hell out of you? I used to know. Remember when the Polacks tried to run us out? You were the first to go after them. Remember? Hey, Mexican schlock face, who screws us? Huh? Italian schlock face. Nobody screws us. And we didn't. Didn't let anybody screw us. Now a Polak, a big Polak named Bronski, is trying to screw us. He wants us to throw a race for him or else stay off the track. Mother is shot at us, had us beaten up, and then he... He took our baby away. My daughter. If only I... What could. was she? A Plymouth Valiant. With a 396 Hemi. Tuned like a watch. The bastard. He's a damn coward. Take away his gorillas and he's just a bag of bullshit. You never let a worm like that scare you in the old days. What's made you turn soft, Paquito? You're no chicken. Shut up, man! Shut up! Can't say I'm not trying. Maron. <laughs> Holy creation. I built it two years ago to win the Imperial Crash. I wanted to prove I could race as well as build. But I owed some money to what is it, a space shuttle? A bastard like Ronsky. He just couldn't wait till after the race to get his money. It took me six months to get out of the hospital, and a year before I was off crutches. Take her. Take her and win for me. Can't take any chances. Maybe Ronsky's men are watching. Yeah. Bite my ass, you know what you are, a rat! The chicken liver fink! You're dumping your pants, you're so scared. Keep your car, who needs it? Probably wouldn't go too loud Fire anyway. Fire the chingara, Stance! Shithead! 
I'll teach you to oh. talk dirty. We'll be back tonight. Stay cool. Yeah, I'll have a special right. face. That's enough. Break it up. Don't give it to us and forget it. Yeah, that's it, Belly. Break it up. Wet back. Get in the car. Go on, get in the car. Cool it, huh? Just cool it. Cabron! She got up yours. In the hell! Shithead! Llama el capitán. Paquito es un buen muchacho. Tony Alto Gerd. One thrown off the train. He won't bother us again. And the other disappeared. Probably running for his life. And now they both turn up at Paquitos. Maybe they even have a new car. Idiot ski. If they reach the border alive. You better head for Australia. And teach that damn cripple he can't cross me and get away with it. Can you do that, Al? What are you doing? Oh! Either it's my lucky star, or else my biorhythms are working overtime. What are you talking about? Don't you recognize the van? What? You know, the, the gorgeous body work from the gas station. Oh. Uh, Don't we have enough to worry about without you chasing after a broad? I didn't think we'd see each other so soon. Do you remember me? Should I? The gas station south of San Diego. Sorry. Did we talk together? Well, with our eyes, we did. I, uh... Yeah, as a matter of fact, it would have been my pleasure to come over and say, put her there, only someone was standing on my head. <laughs> Batman and Robin, right? I was sorry I couldn't offer some help. But you look like you had things under control. You get out of it okay? Yeah, I am. I always come out on top. I can't believe it. Well, what are you doing here? I'm working. I buy ancient artifacts. Mystic and Aztec terracotta, pottery, jewelry. You gotta be kidding me, right? Because yeah, I love that kind of stuff. That's funny. You never mentioned it before. Listen, um... I'd really like to see some of your pieces sometime. Yeah, in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're all wrapped up now. This is my last day here. I have to leave tomorrow. Well, what about tonight? No, no, no. Stop. Tonight you're busy. Remember our appointment with Paquito. Mm. It's okay. I have to go to bed early anyway. Acapulco in one day is a long trip. Well, you know what they say about long trips for one? They can be short trips for two. Maybe. But this is a business trip, and I never mix business with pleasure. You should. Anyway, if you are interested in artifacts... Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm sure we'll run into each other again if you don't get yourself killed first. Here, para ti, para ti. Be good boys now, okay? Look, just in case we do bump heads over some other gas pump, you could at least tell me what your name is so I know what to call you. Janice. It's as good as any other. What are you laughing at, asshole? <laughs> you must be slipping. Or maybe she doesn't like boys. <laughs> but I must say, she's very, very, very pretty. <laughs> I, I bet you I could have set something up tonight if you hadn't butted in. Don't you ever stop? That's exactly what your sister asked me the last time. Treat her gently. 
keep a velvet foot on the gas pedal for the first hundred miles. The engine's stiff and it needs a good breaking in. Keep the tack under 4,000 RPM. And stay off of bumpy country roads. Until the suspension works in the grease. Nobody screws us, right, Nick? <laughs> Be careful, Pequito. Be careful. Those guys are bad news. Ah. Uh, they can break your bones, but you're only screwed if they can break you inside. You know, when they stomp me, I swore I'd get back at them if I lived. When I got out of the hospital, I was scared. I was crippled inside as well as out. Well, now it's different. I'm healed. They want to burn the garage? <laughs> Bump me off? Let them try it. If I get my hands on one of them jerk brain son of a bitches, I'm gonna kick the living bullshit out of them. Schlock face Italian, who screws us? <laughs> Schlock face Mexican, nobody right screws on. us. <laughs> Thanks, Paquito. Okay, driver. When you take those curves, make sure you don't slide in chicken shit. I will. A lot of it out there. Right about Paquito. I sent a couple of boys to put things in order. Oh, well done. Now let's get the kids. Want me to get out and push? Something's not right. What's not right? I think the engine's overheating. I'll check it.
safe and sound. I could have done that myself. What's with her? Brakes have been cut. I patched them up so you can drive. I'll get you some spare brake fluid. I don't know what's happening, but I guess I owe you a debt of gratitude. Well, uh, I'll think of a way you can pay me back. I don't think so. I'm not going your way. Where are you going? I told you, Acapulco to see a collector who wants to buy some of my artifacts. And how long will it take you? Well, one day, I guess, or two. Well, can we go with you? If you go, you go without me. I'll get another partner. But can't you postpone it? Oh, it's important to me. Oh, come on. Well, you're important to me. God. What? Do you believe in God? Yeah. Well, you better start praying to him, because I'm going to tell you from limb to limb. Come on. Come on. Oh. Everything's right on schedule. But what the hell are they doing down there? <laughs> What's the secret wine? Dutch Schmuck. <laughs> hey, Paul, look over there. Right in tight. We want to be noticed. <laughs> they missed us. Yeah, but they're not stopping. I think they're after me. Jeez, the rock is turned. Man, we can't let her take a beating on our account. Okay, okay, but take it easy on Come on, you move know. it! I'm in.
all over the place. It's dangerous. Get my bag. Come on. Oh. Oh. Move. Go. Get up. Get up. Come on. No. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's gonna blow. I don't understand. Why are they after me? Just, what kind of game are you guys into, anyway? We're into racing. <laughs> so I've noticed. <laughs> no, I mean professionally. We, we race stock cars. You mean, you risk your life for money? Sometimes for no money. <laughs> but why? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we get a kick out of it. Tell me, that statue you saved from the van, is it worth a lot? To my client, yes. Are you gonna buy it? I don't know. I just told him that I had something he'd be interested in. And so you're uh, looking to make a killing? Eh, maybe you can loan us a little money for the gas we use. I'm sorry to take you out of your way. Hey! I promise to pay you back. <laughs> it was a joke. I didn't mean it about the gas. Oh, you shut it up. It was a joke. You said enough. It's not his fault. I'm just so worried. I have to get a lot of bread by next month. Does that have anything to do with those guys who tried to run you off the road? No, I have no idea what that was all about. It's my mother I'm worried about, you know. She has to have an operation, an expensive one. And it's so dangerous that our insurance won't pay for it. And you think this collector is going to give you enough money for the statue to, to cover the operation? If he buys it, yes. If he doesn't, I don't know. I'd do anything to get that money. Hey, and I don't even say that. I'll get the money for you. Don't worry, I promise. <laughs> hey, 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 be careful. We gotta get down there first, Dodo. I remember what I said And the sadness on your face Once again You talk with touching grace I am Kimberly bound There's a fortune to be found It might take me a year, maybe two But I promise you that When I come back you will have A necklace made of that safe to get out? Maybe they have dogs. Or, or armed guards. You read too many comic books. I don't think anything lives here during the day. You know, this reminds me a lot of Transylvania. Oh! <laughs> Is this guy Kirby any relationship to Count Dracula? I'm Miss Johnson. Mr. Kirby's expecting me. Is he in? Are these, uh, gentlemen your companions? Yes, they are. We're fellow travelers. Do I know you? I doubt we travel in the same social circles. Yeah, I'm sure we don't. Didn't I see your picture on a post office wall? Or an ad from bombing fluid? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad for an A-frame, but, uh, but, I mean, couldn't you afford to put in a pool? Like, uh, you know, what the hell? A comedian without a gig. What do you say? Shall I tweak his royal beak? It's obvious you're not familiar with Butler, sir. Uh, listen, Dr. Jekyll, let's ignore each other during my stay, okay? You and I will never hit it off. What else can one expect from the proletariat? Please. Please, Bafangu. The 
car. They're stealing the car. They've stolen our car. Who's that jerk that took our car? The jerk's Mr. Kirby, your host, and my employer, unfortunately. Gentlemen, it is simply captivating. But there's rather a lot of talk for a standard 47 block. What, what's Hello, your asking Mr. price Kirby. for it? Hello, dear. Uh, it's not for sale. We need it. You're professionals, then, I take it. Uh, my name yeah. is Paul. This is my partner, Paul. Nick. Paul and Nick. I'm Janice. Hello, Janice. Winners of the American Championships. Paul Little yeah. and... Oh, come along inside. We must have a drink. I've got to have this car now. Even if it's only for a collection, I start today. I love starting collections. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. It's not hey, hmm? You see, we have a personal score we have to settle it, first. Between you and I? No, 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 no. See, the, the reason that we're here is Janice's car broke down and we gave her a lift. I think your business is with her. Oh, you're Miss Johnson. Mm -hmm. You must think I'm a bit potty. Come on. You can say that again, and that's not all. Gershwin's got some lovely champagne. Gershwin! Come on in, my friends. Come on in. Welcome to my humble cupboard. Is there no more Bollinger 61 left? No, sir. Only Don Perignon. Ah. Uh -huh. Make yourselves comfortable. Bubbly. Good for the soul. <laughs> Thank you. Now, my dear, I'd like to see this little find you were excited about when you called me. May I? Sure. It's very rare. I've never seen a figure listed in any catalog that's decorated with the likeness of Mictian. Who? Mictian. Very interesting. Most interesting. Fascinating. Here's how. Mictian was a goddess dating from the middle pre-classic period of Mesoamerica, usually depicted wearing the skin of a jaguar. Quite right, my dear. A statue depicting Mictian is priceless. This statue, however, is worth nothing. Nothing? Nothing? What do you mean? It's a fake. <laughs> Extremely skillfully done, but it's a fake, just the same. First you drive our race car without permission. Then you make us drink that dumb Perignon. And now, you call us crooks to our faces. You want to try and say that again? I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. Then don't try to say that Janice is peddling fakes. Oh, I'm sure she isn't. I rather think she's been taken in by some unscrupulous peasant. But how can you be sure this is a fake? It's a little hobby of mine. Come, I'll show you something. I think you'll find it interesting. Certainly educational. Now, this is where I keep some of my more precious souvenirs. <laughs> Come along. Oh, this is marvelous. It was a sweet little church once upon a time. I hope to finish this someday. Ugh. Huh, what do you know? You got stung too. <laughs> Au contraire, dear boy. <clears throat> That is the genuine article. All these pieces are genuine. Their authenticity has been attested to by the highest authority. The chances of there being another exact in every detail are one in 500 million. <laughs> so are the chances of one existing in the first place. I'm not about to believe that mine's a fake without some proof. Good girl, I'll write you a letter of introduction to Professor Wineglass at the Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. It was he who attested to my figure. 
That's now, very kind of you. why don't you come and have a look at something else? Mm. This, I'm sure, will be more interesting for you boys. Money may not buy happiness. <laughs> However, <clears throat> wealth does have its compensation. It's always been a dream of mine to race against professionals. Would you grant me the privilege of realizing that dream? No, no. Nothing doing. We're still breaking in the engine. Would, um, $50,000 make any difference? Mister, you got yourself a race. <laughs> Paul, once around the estate. Are you crazy? Right on. You're willing to risk our baby racing against that bozo? He won't even get close. What makes you think that? Said the tortoise to the hare. It's a little hobby of mine. The ground's clearly marked. Paul! Will you stop mothering me just to spin around the lawn? That guy's got a screw loose. Hey! hey. hey. He's on go cart you know. Move! There's no justice in the distribution of wealth these days.
had so much fun in my life. And now it's in my feet. Are you sure I can't persuade you to part with that car of yours? Sorry, uh, we have something we have to do for a friend of ours. It's a race we have to win. It's really uh, the Imperial Crash, I presume. The one they've outlawed. Well, I wish you luck. We'll need it. Have another brandy. I've been saving this for a special occasion. And this more than qualifies. Oh, oh, oh. Don't oh, mind no. if I do. No more for you, Paul. You're <laughs> driving tonight. Oh, no. Please, accept my hospitality. The road back to the United States is long and dark. You can have a good night's sleep and a good breakfast and start again tomorrow refreshed. Besides, by 10 o'clock, I shall have your $50,000 in cash. Well, the grub is good, the price is okay. The service could be better, though. Splendid. Are there rooms ready, Gershwin? I'm afraid so, sir. Now, my dear, if you'll come with me. All right. I shall give you that letter I promised you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> good night, Paul. Good night. Good night, Nick. Don't let the bedbugs bite. If you wish to retire, your rooms are upstairs. Please. Uh, that's okay. We can tuck ourselves in. <laughs> I don't like it. Something's wrong. Yeah. Wait for her in her room. I'll bet, uh, I'll bet she can make it right. Uh, is this my room? Si, senor. Thanks. Thank you and good night, folks. Uh, I'm afraid I don't follow, Mr. Kirby. Now, you don't think I'm going to let you swindle anyone else with this worthless junk, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. So I have a copy of the statue. Well, why should you care? You've got the original. Besides, you you might not believe it's real, but I, I think it is. Why don't you let me take it to the museum to have it authenticated? Because I don't think you'd get to the museum. <laughs> I think you might take it back to your employer, Ronsky. Don't try and put me on his level. Maybe there is a peculiarity of my collection that you're not totally aware of. Every one of these extraordinary objects is unique. There's no other example of any of these items anywhere else in the world. The only one is the one I possess. Now, to let someone else get hold of a similar item, even though it may be counterfeit, would completely compromise the validity of my collection. And this I cannot tolerate! Please, no! Don't! Don't! Sorry! I had no other choice! No! Dennis! Paul! Help me! Help me! Oh. Oh, Dutchman! <laughs> 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 
Statue, please. Si, señor. There. Oh, now I bet he knocks it over. brought a breath of life into this mausoleum. We shall have to see if we can't find some way to repay them. <laughs> Boy, he was really peaked. Why was he peaked at you? Yeah, shouldn't try to fool an expert with a wooden witch in McCall. Yeah. But why did his men run you off the road? He didn't know the statue was fake yet. How should I know? Hey, what is this? A cross-examination? No. I just want to know why one and one makes three. That's enough, Nick. Why? One and one is two, isn't I it? I said that's enough! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess three is one too many. Change over. Okay. Ready? Uh, Come on! What are you... <clears throat> you got a crazy bastard if you want to kill me. Don't wreck the car to do it, huh? Are you worried about the money? I told well, you not to worry about it. I'll get it for you. Don't worry. It's not just the money. It's all the trouble I've caused you. Trouble? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... We love this kind of stuff. I mean, to rescue a damsel in distress? I mean, it makes us feel like... Like Batman and Robin, like... Like, uh... BJ and the Bear, like... <laughs> like Tarzan and Cheetah. <laughs> There's got to be a way. I, I can't take it. Yeah, well, you're going to have to, because I'm not leaving her. Okay? Okay. Here, double cheeseburgers for everyone. One without onion, and one with double onion. Great. I'll go pay for the gas and be back for mine. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you want so much to dump me, Nick? Because it just wasn't meant to be, sweetheart. Can you give me a straight answer? Okay. Because with you and I here, it's harder to save our butts. Ours and yours. Straight enough? Mm -mm. I think it's more. I think you've got something against me. I've got it in for... for anybody that... that keeps me and Paul getting to the Imperial crash. And I'm distracting your driver. Is that it? Or is it jealousy? Hmm? Afraid I'll take Paul away from you? Jealous? Yeah. <laughs> With Paul, it's 50-50. He gets the women, I get the engines. I suppose you sleep with engines, too. Not that you couldn't do better if you wanted to. Listen, honey. Maybe I don't have girls fighting to get in my bed. But there's one thing I've learned in life. To spot a phony when I see one. Thank you. Some story about a sick mother and, and making a fool of myself. If you want to do us a favor, just split. Who's leaving? She is. Says who? Maybe I do. Who started this? Did you start this? Paul, can I talk to you for a minute? Do you mind, Nick?
don't be angry with Nick. I think he's more worried about you than about himself. It's none of his business. Just because we're friends doesn't mean he can interfere in my private life. I thought you wanted to be with me. I do. I'm just trying to think what's best for you. What's best for me is having you with me. For better or for worse? Don't worry. I, I'll make it better. <laughs> you are bad. Look, if I fall in love with you, I swear I'll kill you. Ooh, that's not a bad way to go. And if it's a challenge, you're on. End of discussion, amigo. She's staying. It's amazing what a fool I am. Come on, I'll buy you a beer. Three beers, please. Let's make a toast to a safe trip to the United States. <laughs> Our funeral. I'm too soft. I keep forgiving you your trespasses. But if Tony Sharetta gets mad at me again, you can all head for Australia. Honest, Al says you got no cause to worry, Mr. Ransom. He's been sitting on that butt since Acapulco. The surprise that he's set for him is a real cinch. That I gotta see. You figure with a hundred miles of the Imperial, I lose the Southwest turf. Can't understand why the girl has stopped calling in, little double-crosser. We can't afford that kind of help. So when the time comes, she goes. Yeah, and with her, it's gonna be a real pleasure. Uh, Al says he wants firsties. I just want a good night's sleep. Alone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho! Oh. There's a hotel about ten minutes up the road. Paul, look out! <laughs> others over there what is it a teamsters convention what a choice here goes a roger starback
dead yet. Just died. What are we gonna do? My mother taught me, sir, that idle and silly games were a sin. Oh, shut up and fly! Very good, sir. Way and shotguns waiting for us at the toll booth, you can bet Ronsky's gonna pull out all the stops. Can't you ever look at the bright side of things? Mm. Wait! Watch it, Paul. Those men at that roadblock are not cops. How do you know? Only one way to find out. I think she's right. Hang on! If they catch us, we'll get worse than prison, man. Cops don't wear yellow camperos. Shall I stop or can you manage it yourself? I think I can manage you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Leo! Hey, buddy! Nico! Hey, man! I can't believe it! Yeah! <laughs> hey, Paul, baby! Hey, how's everything, man? It's great to see you. Hey, what's the word? <laughs> hey, Heather, how, how they hanging, man? Hey. <laughs> oh, excuse me, honey. I didn't see you. That's okay, Leo. This is Janice. Leo. My pleasure. Hi. Hey! Careful. Tell me, man! When did you go into the junk business? Careful, 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 buddy. You are talking about the car that's going to win the Imperial Crash. That? You got to be kidding, man. Yeah. One of those cars got a better chance of winning. We don't need your opinion. Just spare parts and a bed for her. Come on. Why, sure. She can have mine. Thank you. It'll be nice and cozy. Excuse me, Paul. Let me show you the way. I said for her, not you. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. On. And not for you either, Paul. We've got a motor to overhaul right now. Come on. Good night. Come on. I don't understand what the hurry is. Or we got till next year. Wrong. Ronsky thinks this is his year. But it's not gonna be that way. Come on, Paul, come on. You're crazy, man. There's no way we're gonna make it. No way. Well, we're damn well gonna try, so let's get to it. Give me a wrench. Get the bolts on that side. Paul. You and I are gonna do it. Uh, brothers, this calls for my best tools, okay? Love you, Leo. got 24 hours. Now leave that to me. You go weld up a roll bar. Come on. It's pointless. And what has it been up to now? At least we had a chance. Yeah, man. I could just imagine. Excuse me, please. Let me work. Look, we got something more than they do, Paul. They try to beat us every way possible. and couldn't do it. Well, now, now it's our turn. You know, I don't believe you, man. It's made you blind. And all you can think about is hopping in the sack with that stupid snatch. Okay. okay, down. Hold it a minute. Just wanna make sure before it goes in. That calls for another cold one. I got Paul? Pieces on back. Is that you? You have another fight with Nick? Listen. I've only known you guys for a few days. And let me tell you something. Not many people have a friend like Nick. He's like a brother to you. Look, Paul, why don't you go and help him? He needs you now. You know something? You're right. You know something else? You're very, very special. Crazy about you. Paul. Paul, I have to tell you something. No, not now. You get the other beers? Huh? Paquito's dead, man. What? Toma. 
Tommaso just called. They found my cousin dead. His garage was burned. And the ace of spades was stuck in his mouth. be proper facilities for the spectators because there aren't supposed to be any spectators you're ninny there isn't supposed to be a race it's run outside the rule books an illegal race i'd call it merciless it's not enough to come in first to win you know you've got to destroy all the other contenders before you do that only owners mechanics and bettors are allowed to watch i presume that your money is on those uncouth young americans sir yes and you know why because they have Pride. They, they would try to win even if they knew they couldn't, which is why they're going to do so. If they get here in time. Let's go! Let's hustle! Back her up! Hey, boys. Look over there. I knew they'd get here. <laughs> Who's that putz again? What's he doing here? Probably looking for trouble. Hope he won't mind waiting till after the race. Uh oh, Paul. The guy. There's Putzo number two. You knew it. Yeah, only. Uh... I hope you enjoy the race, because your next trip will be a short one in the back of a hearse. I think those papers are in order. Do you have a receipt? What receipt? For the security deposit. What security deposit? The $20,000 entry fee required of all participants. Tisk tisk. Too bad. Looks like you guys are out of it. You two should have known better than to buck the big leagues. Now why don't you emigrate to Australia? To Australia? This is your doing. I'll break your right. <laughs> I'll see you later, punk. Right now, I got a little race to win. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you bring the cash five minutes before the race starts, you can enter. Otherwise, yeah, your sister eats moose meat too. Stunts left up your sleeve? That slob has really shafted us this time. There's got to be something we can do. I mean, I mean, we can't give up now. Well, I sure don't know when we can get twenty thousand dollars in five minutes without a gun and a bank. Bruno, stay out of the way now. That's it. Keep pushing, boys. Keep pushing it. Nice and easy. That's it. Nick! Paul! Here! I got it. We're in the race. Paul. Quick! The money for the entry fee. What'd you get? But well, where'd you get it? Does it matter? Come on, hurry! I asked hey, man, you where you got it from. I just got it. Here. Now watch out for us, huh? And then I want to see who emigrates to Australia. <laughs> I got it from Kirby. How? What kind of deal did you make? Stop it, Paul! I sold him back his figure. That's how. What do you mean, sold it back? I committed a crime. I 
stole it the night we left his house. So that's why he was after us. What'd you do it for, revenge? Oh, no. It wasn't the statues. It, Kirby knew about me. That I was working for Ronsky all the time. You, working for... Mm -hmm. You mean, I'm eating the first time... All planned, we, yeah. I had to do it. To pay the bills for my mother's operation. I just didn't know anything about you then, and well... I never imagined I would be in love. Well, and that's how you knew about... The cops were Ronsky's hoods, right? Yeah. But by then I had quit working for them. What about last night? That was a lie, too? I've been honest with you about us. I wasn't at first, but ever since the night you risked your life to help me, I've wanted to tell you the truth. Is, first two laps, don't push her too hard. She's got to get in the groove. After that, you can fall all off the track. Hey, gang, who screws us? Just remember, the one you got to look out for is cost. The one in that yellow wreck there. Now you watch him. The rest are a piece of cake. Hey, Nick. Is he ticked? Talk to the big man. Well, he don't want to talk to you. You're obsolete, Ronsky. <laughs> it's not fair, though, Tony, pushing the guy out for that. You'll never win. You've got my word. You don't have one. What the hell is the matter with you? Get out there and get the money. Driver's prize money, too? All of it! some unfinished business to settle first, don't we? What business would you have with me, punk? 
Oh, no. No, 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 Rotsky. You gotta talk nice now, because you're out in the cold. You know that, don't you? Because it's just me and you, Rotsky. No. I gotta total up the bill, and it's gotta get paid sooner or later. No. Isn't that correct, <laughs> Rotsky? Wait a minute. Take your choice. Where do we start? No. Huh? That Where's night at the gas Where's station? My the train to Mexico City? Huh? Huh? Mom. Or shall we start with the name on our car? Huh? See what was written? Keto! Start with Keto! Finish your big bag of hot air, you're through! You see my friend down there? He's wiping your bets clean off the board! In Paquito's car! You caused the death of a good man, but Paquito's gonna get you! You don't deserve to end up with anything, man. Come on. You're gonna watch your own destruction. Take a good look, Ronsky. There, see that? Watch my partner go. Gambino and Sharetta were boobies to trust you, Ronsky. They've now left the mob, and I found it such a wonderful toy, I've acquired it. I now control the southwest turf, so the money's mine, <laughs> and you can head for Australia. Sink, Gershwin.
Yeah, you did it! Uh, <laughs> you know, Nick, you're wrong if you think the girls wouldn't fight to get into bed with you. Oh, get out of here. I mean it! <laughs> you're really a great guy. And you're okay. <laughs> Come on, run to the window. Okay. Paul! <laughs> oh, Paul! I promise you that when I come back you will have a necklace made of Never found my dreams come true. Though I've searched and I've prayed through these seven years. 